Hey, this is Andrew with Top5WirelessRouters.com and today I'm going to walk you through our top five routers that we recommend based on reviews from real customers. So basically, I know there's a lot of videos out there that, that uh, show different people um, demoing the, video, the uh, routers that they've purchased and walking you through all the features and, and those, those videos are great. But what we'd like to do here is basically do the research that you would normally be doing yourself we're doing it for you so we're going out there we're looking at the websites um, Amazon you, know, you can buy the, the routers and we're also looking across the internet um, to see what others whether it's a video or written reviews to see um, people's experiences with these routers and so we've come up with our, our list of the top five routers and we're going to quickly in this video um, walk you through the good and the bad about um, each of these routers and most of these obviously um, these these five routers you can't go wrong with them They're, these are the top five that we found um, but we'll we'll certainly um, walk you through some of the things to look out for or to watch out for if, if you're going to purchase these let's get started so number five is our airport extreme 802.11 n it's a fifth generation and it's brought to you by apple so it's a, it's a, it's a solid router um, and works especially well if you have um, a Mac computer and Mac components. Uh, the key features of that are um, there's a guest networking option for easy internet sharing. Um, you can share your entire wireless network with up to 50 users at the same time. So it's pretty powerful um, and the ability, the ability to be able to do all that. And also you can turn your USB hard drive into a shared drive that's accessible wirelessly on your network and also over the internet. Um, it's compatible with Mac computers, PCs, wireless devices um, that listed below there. And so I'll mention that um, there are some users that we noticed with some reviews um, who have a Windows 7 environment that um, so they did have some some problems or some issues with um, the with this router at the time when we were um, doing our review. So keep that in mind. Um, it includes a th it includes three gigabit Ethernet ports for fast wired connectivity with desktop computers, network drives, and more. And you can share both a hard drive and a printer using a USB hub. And you can also do wireless printing. So you can just plug a printer into the Airport Extreme and add it to the printer list in your Mac or PC and start printing. The positives are it's easy to install and set up. There's a good range um, as far as the wireless signal. It's, it's reliable and it's simple to use. Obviously, those are important things. The negatives, um, poor performance for some users and it doesn't work well with Windows 7 PCs. So again, this is not um, every every situation, but when there are complaints, these are some of the complaints that are coming up. And so, you know, when you see, when you see these reviews, there's always going to be some people who have had a bad experience. So keep that in mind. But this is just something if you're looking for those situations where people had negative reviews, here's some of the things that were coming up. Number four is, is a ZXL three-in-one wireless end pocket travel router access point and Ethernet client. The key features here is the size of a credit card. So this is very interesting. It's a very small router and it's great for travel. It combines a miniature router and wireless access point to share high-speed wireless internet access in hotel rooms, conference rooms, or really anywhere a wired broadband connection is available. So it's a three-in-one functionality. It's a router, it's an access point, and it's a client bridge. And so it's easily easy wireless setup with WPS and it's USB or AC power. Uh, the positives is easy to install and set up, just like the Apple router. It's great value for the money, so it's it's inexpensive. Um, it's small and compact, great for travel, and it's just good performance for such a small device. So this is the kind of thing if you're traveling a lot, it's perfect. It's not necessarily something you would want for your home network, but if you um, you know are on the go, um, this is definitely a handy router that we recommend. Negatives, um, poor documentation, it's hard to find, I guess there's not really good documentation for it, you can, obviously you can get it online, and it's also small print in the bottom of the router, the router password. So when you're first setting it up, it's a little bit of a hassle trying to, to see the, the password, but once you get the password, you know, you're good to go. All right, number three is the Asus RTAC66U dual band wireless um, gigabit router. Key features, it's a 5G, and this is an 802.11ac, so it's a newer um, protocol for wireless speed. So it's up to 1.3 um, Gbps. So 
it's uh, very fast. Obviously, if your um, your speed, your your um, ISP or your um, internet speed is is slower than that, you're not going to get much benefit from it. But it is a new protocol, so it's a little more expensive because of that. So it gets uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz concurrent dual band transmission. So it is a dual band router. Um, it's attachable. Um, has an attachable external antenna for up to 20% further coverage. So if you want to get more coverage, you can uh, attach an external antenna. Um, and there's also Download Master for wireless data storage and access to a router connected USB storage devices. And it also has a slim design. The positives, again like we've seen with other routers, it's easy to install and set up. It's got a great range and signal strength which obviously are important. The connection is reliable and a stylish design. So with these three routers we've talked about so far, um, for the most part, you're going to get a good signal, you're going to get a good connection, um, and it's easy to set up. So those are obviously what I've, what I've seen. It's in common with the best routers that we've reviewed. The negatives, poor tech support in some cases, although when we're looking at Amazon, notice that they did respond to some complaints directly right on Amazon. So it was directly on there. So it shows that they're actually trying to, um, you know, increase or improve their support. It is a little bit more expensive, and it's probably because of the newer protocol, the AC protocol, and there's some complaints about unstable or intermittent internet connections. Number two is our MediaLink wireless and broadband router. And the key features there, it adds a wireless and internet connection to your standard size home or office um, with a wireless connection speed of up to 300 Mbps. Um, it has an internal antenna in this case, and, and, the, and the main the main feature of this is extending an existing wireless signal with the router's, the router's wireless access point capability. So this is something that if you already have a router, you can extend its, um, you can boost the signal. The positives, easy to install, and they do have good customer service. Apparently, they actually send follow-up emails with, with orders, like custom um, follow-up emails with each order. The router is small. Um, the lights are bright and easy to see if you want to be able to see what's going on with the uh, with the lights and it's compatible with lots of different devices which is good. Um, negative, some complaints about limited range and signal strength and some say actually, well some like the lights, some say their blue lights are too bright so if you in a dark room, if you if you really don't want it to light up a room I guess um, you just keep that in mind and it's a single band router also so some of the, the routers we'll talk about are dual band versus single band. Um, this is a single band router so make sure your computer is compatible. Alright so for our number one wireless router and to get access to our full reviews for each of our top, top five routers simply click the link in the description below and you'll be taken to our website top5wirelessrouters.com and there's also going to be um, there will be some more videos on, the, on our website and to give you more information about each router and you'll also see a guide for understanding more about um, when you're purchasing a router you know what are some things that you need to know about before you purchase one so I think you'll find our website very informative and um, if you have any questions feel free to send us an email